here as we get set for a wonderful day I'm in sports. Opening day for America's national pastime. This was about two months after he took office. Um, that was an interesting experience in its own right because it was so structured and I was told, you will say every word that we write out. You will not deviate from the script and go. To the word, like every single question was scripted, gone over dozens of times by many executives, editors and executives. Absolutely. I was on script and was told not to deviate. It was very much, this is what you will ask. This is how you will say it. Um, no follow-ups. No follow-ups. Next. I knew that this was a lot bigger than just the wonderful editors that I worked with. This went up to the fourth floor, as we said, <laughs> that we're all the the bosses, the top executives, the decision makers are the president where, of our company, the CEO, where, where they all work. Wow. Holy cow. Imagine going to journalism school. Imagine studying to be a reporter for so many years only to be told, shut up, read the script. And that's exactly what happens with all of the corporate media. Well, come back. Beautiful and amazing human beings. My name's Luke Radowski here of We Are Change the Rug. And there's a lot of absolutely crazy and ridiculous nonsense happening right now as it looks like we have the return of one sickness that the U.S. federal government now is taking very seriously. What will be the larger ramifications of it? What will be the larger effects of it on the election? Well, who knows? As, of course, we have a lot of other crazy news surrounding the solar eclipse which there's a lot of very strange coincidences with as some people are going off and saying that there is a major conspiracy afoot here related to this natural phenomenon that, of course, we all will be going through here in the United States in the next upcoming days. We're going to be talking about that, plus all the other coincidences all here on this independent media broadcast. If you like the shirt that I'm wearing, you can get it on the bestpoliticalshirts.com and the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast Podcast highlights a former ESPN host that came out and bravely spoke about just how scripted and tightly controlled any supposed interview with the President of the United States is as she details how every single question, every single remark was planned to the T with specific preference being made to have no deviations from what she was told to say. Highlighting a couple eye-opening revelations here. One being that the President of the United States can't take any unscripted questions. Two, how much control does the Biden administration have when it comes to controlling what the corporate media can and cannot say? And we have to remember almost everything you see on the corporate media usually is scripted, including even from individuals like John Stewart that I personally caught nearly 16 years ago. Also, scripting and faking a lot of his interviews with high-profile individuals. The one specifically that I saw in real life was, of course, Condoleezza Rice, that throughout her entire kind of press junket, throughout all the public events she was doing, was surprisingly always asked the same questions. As, of course, this is not journalism, this is PR for the ruling establishment as Elon Musk declared that the legacy media is dying today on his social media platform, Twitter, tweeting a specific link detailing how traffic for Bloomberg is going down dramatically and probably will continue to go down as, of course, more and more people flock to independent media where, of course, the federal government doesn't have a lot of strings controlling what they can say for now. All of this as the Democratic Party keeps fighting major legal lawfare battles against the former president of the United States, trying to, of course, hinder his 2024 presidential election hopes as the former president of the United States just filed $175 million to appeal a court decision in his New York City fraud case. This as we're learning today that the White House, when they're not busy going after their political opponents or scripting Interviews are also on, quote, red alert today as there is a new health scare, specifically in Texas, where a dairy farmer allegedly caught a deadly strain of a bird flu, allegedly from a cow, according from HHS and the USDA, as we have a cow to human case sickness that some people are warning about could quickly get out of control, not only affect our food industry, but of course our, our whole entire healthcare industry, as some people are pointing out the fact that it's pretty convenient that we might have another major health scare right before a major election. 
This says the Daily Mail is reporting that the Biden administration and the White House is scared about this potential sickness spreading everywhere as the CDC is revealing that now three pet cats have died from the sickness and that America's biggest egg producer was just hit with this outbreak. Now, is this going to be the disease X as prophesized by the World Economic Forum? Well, only time will tell us. As, of course, we are going to be keeping a close eye on this particular story. All of this as NATO is also proposing a $100 billion aid package to Ukraine within the next five years. And Kim Jong-un of North Korea was recently seen smoking a cigarette as he was looking over the launch of his new hypersonic missile systems as tensions between North Korea and the United States are ever so growing rapidly as well. And hey, smoking is bad for your health. And you know what's good for your health? Fieldofgreens.com. Yes, our sponsor, a company that we are actually working with, as you could see them here on my desk and something that I personally take. I, I, I drink, I use, I liked. I was very skeptical of this product at first. And it's really awesome and it's really incredible. And I wanted to tell you about them since I think working with them is a win-win for everyone. Seriously, my producer came to me and was like, hey, what about this greens coming? I'm like, no. They sent us the greens, and as you can see here, we are almost literally completely out of it since this stuff is really awesome. I really enjoy it. You get 30 plus servings of actual fruits and vegetables. This is not a supplement. This is actual whole organic fruits and vegetables that are flash frozen, made into this little green powder that very conveniently you could just put in a little water cup shake up a little bit and you got some really good whole foods with you wherever you decide to go and again if you're busy like me you usually don't have a lot of choices you usually don't have a lot of decisions of where you're going to get your kind of food and, and nutrition from and and it's either freaking fast food especially if i'm traveling or i can just bring one of these with me and after using it for quite some time i i feel really good afterwards a lot of people that i give it to also really like it as these products are made in the united states formulated by physicians and doctors that i even personally spoke to and i was actually able to give you guys 15 percent off your first order plus free rush shipping with promo code luke l-u-k-e promo code luke on fieldofgreens.com the link is down in the description below click on it right now check out this company and they're worth trying out because for any reason if you don't like them if, if, you just, if you're like ah, it just doesn't taste good it also depends on, on your palate personally i i really like just the basic one and i really like the berry one the strawberry one not so much lemonade one not so much but for any reason you don't like this product they'll give you a hundred percent money back guarantee as we have officially partnered with them and i'm, I'm very happy to do so check them out right now click the link down in the description below as of course your nutrition and health definitely does need to be taken seriously with the very tumultuous current day of events that we're all dealing with and it's not just human disasters that we're dealing with it's also natural disasters as yesterday there was a major earthquake that hit taiwan that has left the local population there devastated as hundreds have been injured, buildings were left in rubble as Taiwan just faced one of the strongest earthquakes in 25 years. All of this as a lot of people are also correlating the possibility of more earthquakes that, that could potentially happen with the upcoming solar eclipse and devil comment that will be flying past the earth as there is a lot of kind of lore there there are a lot of tales specifically detailing how the two correlated events a comet and a solar eclipse usually were preceded with a lot of very larger seismic activities of course there's not a lot of scientific evidence correlating the two just a lot of speculation happening right now as some people are saying that the solar eclipse will be linked to somehow the end of the world as we know it NBC News San Diego wrote a solar eclipse will now plunge the U.S. into darkness. Here's how to see it as government officials in Texas are warning people to stock up on food and water for at least two weeks as many people are expected to flock to Texas where the solar eclipse will be most visible as even the National Guard will be deployed in order to help with some of the larger security efforts surrounding this event. As in New York, the prisoners there are actually suing the state because they're denying them of being able to see this solar eclipse which they are arguing has religious significance to them and the state locking them down and preventing them from watching it, quote, violates their rights, as there is 
a lot of other kind of strange coincidences related to this particular solar eclipse that I think are worth talking about. All of this as the United States is also expected to deal with trillions of cicadas as they are expecting a major bug infestation of the United States that last happened in over 200 years. As the first time in 221 years, two types of cicadas will be rising from the ground at the same time, inciting a 13 and 17 year cycle that actually will be matched up this particular year as people are expecting a lot of bugs all throughout the United States. Another very interesting weird coincidence is also the CERN Hydron Collider being turned on and having some of its most powerful tests done specifically during the solar eclipse as scientists are there doing these larger scientific experiments in order to quote find the god particle literally searching for the quote invisible matter that secretly powers our universe turning on the large hydron collider and smashing atoms on the solar eclipse as they're doing their best to discover the subatomic particles that exist inside of atoms. As previously, scientists at CERN decided to put on a fake ritualistic sacrifice in their courtyard in 2016 in order to poke fun at all the people who are concerned about the larger scientific experiments that they're doing that some scientists are warning are very dangerous to conduct here. This says there's also a lot of kind of weird, strange uh, occult and weird rituals connected to CERN and a lot of the scientists that are usually working on these particular projects. As of course, NASA is also deciding to launch three rockets during the solar eclipse named after some very kind of occult figures as well as also related to the solar eclipse a lot of people are talking about the israeli red heifers that in september of 2022 have been imported from texas and according to some individuals might be sacrificed in israel in order to quote fast track the prophecies in order to build the third temple in jerusalem as there are many reports of these red heifer cows in israel there are a lot of ceremonies a lot of prayers all of this says a lot of people are soon expecting Iran to launch military strikes into Israel. As of course, Israel just bombed the Iranian embassy inside of Syria, going after two of their top generals that they took the lives of, as there might be a potential retribution strike by Iran on Israel in the next coming days when, uh, of course, the solar eclipse is also happening at the same time. Another thing that's happening at the same time is also the devil comment that, quote, will provide added excitement during the April 8th solar eclipse. As some people are reporting that there is some kind of larger correlation here, other people are saying, yes, this is rare, but, but the Earth usually has comments that, that fly around it. As scientists are saying that this devil comment is larger than Mount Everest and will be visible specifically in the Australian skies as it flies past the Earth. As some people are also describing that there might even be a loud boom and earthquake felt after this comment, as there definitely has been a lot of reports of seismic activity, as it's fair to say that a lot of people are on edge. Now, what's going to happen during the solar eclipse? Will this be some kind of Freemasonic larger kind of ritual that some people will use for their own kind of religious and spiritual beliefs? Well... Probably. Will this have an effect on your life? Who knows? Maybe. But is this people making something out of nothing? That's also a probability here. As of course, solar eclipses happen, and they happen routinely. Comets? Comets fly by Earth all the time. Now, what's really going on here? How will other people use this? What will be the larger kind of ramifications from all of this? Well, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Tell me your speculation about what is going to be happening this upcoming Monday during the solar eclipse down in the description below. Seriously, shouts out to fieldofgreens.com for working with us and helping us out during these very key difficult times. Check out their products. Again, you get your money back no matter what especially if you don't like their products. And check out lukeandfilter.com. We're going to be having a nature hike organized very soon here in South Florida. And we're going to have a very special report right after this one where the conversation continues right now. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys supporting our sponsors, checking out lukeunfilter.com, sharing this video with your friends and family members. And because you do, that's why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.